the entire day, and it was Denver Lauer who was in the batter's box for it, who hit a grand slam to put four runs on the board for the Spartans, as we see a single here from Lauer to get the game started. And then from there, Annabelle Weidra. Over three a game. This bunt is popped up in the air. Elkins is able to make the catch on the run for the first out. Celeste DiLorenzo is the batter as Lauer takes off towards second. Here's the throw down. Peralta applies the tag, and that's the out. Weidra has another 2-2 on the way. This ball's hit well to center field. Michaela Packer racing back and makes the catch on the edge of the warning track for out number three. South Carolina Upstate gets one hit here in the inning, but they're scoring. Dave McCreary leading things off here for the Tigers in inning number one. First pitch swinging, and how about a base hit for KK McCreary. Both teams have their leadoff batters hit a single to left field. Great start for the... A 1-1 pitch, bunted by Packer, fielded at third, and the throw to first is inaccurate. Packer is going to take off towards second. McCreary heads to third, and Auburn will have runners at second. ...to do just that. Wollers hits this one back up the middle and throw. It's a two-RBI single for Anna Wollers, and Auburn's got a 2-0 lead here in the first inning. Nice piece of hitting. The right-handed pitcher, the freshman for the Upstate Spartans. Leck hits a ground ball too short to second for one. A relay to first is in time. This is a good offense that's waiting to turn the corner, and they've kind of done it the last couple games. Peralta hits one pretty well down the right field line. Right at the edge of the line, making the catch is Talia Thomas for the final out. Here comes the payoff pitch. And there's a swing and a miss strikeout for Ann. And this one hit the back of the leg for Alana Deal. And she'll run this one off down towards first. It's a one out base runner for a score of two to zero. Well hit, left field, McCrary back, gone. How about that? First home run of the season, right on cue. Abigail Pippen with the big time swing. And we have a tie ball game. 16 home runs last year, number one on the season for Abigail. The 2-2 pitch, hit well to left field. KK McCreary racing in and makes the catch for the second out. Oh, one pitch, hit well right center field. That one is gone. A laser line drive homer over the right center field wall and just like that, the South Carolina Upstate Spartans back in front. They've got a three to two lead. Goodness, this lineup has come into the box ready to hit. They are getting good swings on pitches and another one that is just left up in the zone and Norris is all over it. That got out of here in a hurry. I thought it was gonna hit the wall off the bat. And but like you said, only three innings pitch, but Tambor is a highly touted recruit, ranked number 10 by extra inning softball. And gets an out, look at that. A couple of pitches, gets the final out of the inning. Nice backhanded stop. Now your team's giving you some runs to work with. Yeah, that, that double play cannot be 
understated for how big. And now Trezvic goes deep to center field. And Put away by Lauer for the first out. Swing and a miss by Pinta. Here's off. Oh, one pitch, hit back up the middle. The shortstop handles it that time. And it's thrown across in time for the out. So it brings the second inning to a close. Denver Lauer is the batter, who hits this one out to right field. That's gonna get down for a base hit. It's a two for two day for the leadoff batter, Denver Lauer. A grand slam yesterday against all. Highly touted Tambora was coming in as a freshman and all the accolades she got in high school. I mean, she, her pedigree, her mom played softball at Oklahoma before going to Florida State. Her dad's a strength and conditioning coach. I mean, the pieces are there. First and second, no outs for the third baseman, Celeste Lorenzo. Wollers will field. The throw to first is caught by Roach for the out. A successful sacrifice that puts two runners now in scoring position. Throw to the plate, Elkins tries to apply the tag and Lauer slides in safely. Nice play there. Emphasize enough that that is practice because you have got to see the ball down and take off full 100% sell out to that or you're out. I mean, you see Peralta come up. Th the 0-1 pitch. On the ground to second, Roach goes to second for one. Relay to first, in time for the outs. A massive double play when the Auburn defense needed it. Were you able to turn back in your playing days with Auburn? That's Amy? all I could do, JJ, that's <laughs> all I could do. Ground ball to short, Dio comes up firing, and that's the first out. Ground ball to third. Throw across is in time. Strong throw made. And that is the second out. One ball, one strike with two outs here in the bottom of the third. Next pitch to Packer. Hit to short. Deal's got it. And a strong throw gets Packer by half a step. And it brings the third inning to a close. Three full innings of softball. Loss. You do not see that very often no. in the uh, softball world. Ground ball to Wollers. She fields and throws out Abigail Pippen on one pitch. A 1-0 pitch. Grounder, Wollers again with the out. Back to back. It just got over the fence. Just the second home run of the season for Norris. This ball hit the other way between the third baseman and shortstop. The 5 6 hole, as we call it. The 1 0 pitch. Hit to short. Peralta with it. Quick throw to first. And that's in time for the last out of the inning. So it's. Mix that in here in the last few innings. Base hit back up the middle for Anna Wollers. 53 miles an hour on the radar gun. On the pitch from Manis, and Woolworths hit it right. Payoff pitch again. Ground ball to short, deal to second for one. Relay to first, we'll see Lex dive into the first base bag. And she's safe, so only one out. Here comes the pitch to Peralta. And that one's out of the strike zone, that's a walk. Auburn's got runners now at first and second with just one out. Feels like this is a big spot for Isis. They've been playing lights out defense. 0-1, oh, slow roller down the line to third. The throw beats Trezvic on the dive. Great effort there from Isis Trezvic. Pinta is hitting 375 this season with runners on base. This is a ground ball to third, it's high but able to make the catch and step on the bag for the final out of the inning is Norris. And that's up SEC play with a, a tough opponent on the road, a tough place to travel to. Back to the circle, Tambora fields and gets the out. One.
A one-two pitch on the way. Popped up in the air, Roach at second base, catches it for the second out. I think she could help this Auburn pitching staff. 2-1 pitch on the ground to second. Rose Roach fields and throws across in time for the out. Good work from Tambora in the circle. Crazy how you can go from one day 10 to four to find yourself losing. Elkins drives this one well to right field. That ball is gone. It's a home run for Skylar Elkins over the right field wall. Her second of the season. Her second against South Carolina Upstate. And Auburn's within. Three one. Roach hits this one out towards left field. Diving effort made by the shortstop. Deal took a hit away from Roach. Jason, just like that, it's a big defensive play from the Spartans. Here's one hit to right field, drifting in. Thomas puts it away for the second out. And that's just high. I'm a big fan of defense. The two two on the ground to third. How about this defensive play? Quick and easy throw across, and that's the third out of the inning. Auburn gets a run back there within one. A solo home run from Skylar Elkins. Set here on the plains, and the further it goes down, the more difficult it takes it is to defend. Four pitch walk to Carson Shaw. Showing bunt again, pulling back. Ground ball stopped by Wohler. Second for one, relay to first. Nearly a double play. How did Anna Wohler stop that ball? There's just one of them. Hit to right. Tresvik coming in, makes the catch, throws back to first. Just late. Tresvik's been playing a heck of a right field defense. The runner will take off with the pitch. It's hit out to left field, and that's a base hit. First hit of the day for Talia Thomas, and it puts runners at first and second. Shelby Lowe quickly ahead. Here comes the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Three pitches and a strikeout for Shelby Lowe, and that's how the inning will come to a close. One count. Next pitch. Hit well. Back up the middle. It's a three-hit day for Anna Wallers. She's a big swinger, kind of an all or nothing type deal, but maybe just cut it down just a little bit, get to contact or bunt. Yeah, Leck lays down a bunt, fielded there at third by DiLorenzo in time for the out. But Ground ball to short, Deal's got it, the throw to first in time, and what a nice play that time again from Upstate. Hit the other way. Thomas has to play this on a hop. Wohlers will round third and come in to score. It's an RBI single from Isis Trezvik, and the game is tied. Tied at four between Auburn and South Carolina Upstate. Tresvik will take off towards second. The throw is late. A stolen base for Isis Tresvik, which this is for Manis. Payoff pitch. Called third strike. Clemens goes down looking, and we head to the seventh. So two balls and two strikes. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Hit up the middle, it's a base knock. Just what the Spartans needed, the leadoff runner aboard. Pitch on the way. Elkins will throw to second. Peralta applies the tag, and Johnson is tagged out. Amy Johnson gambled on the loose ball. You can see how much these Auburn Tigers are into this game and <laughs> want to win it. One, two pitch. Hit the other way. Three hit day for Denver Lauer. 
A ball and two strikes. Here comes the pitch from Lowe. Popped up in the air. Leck makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Amelia Leck puts it away. It's so unexpected. 1-1. <laughs> one, one. Slow roller to first. Amelia Leck's got it, and she'll step on the bag for the final out of the inning. Hit well to center field. That's going to get almost past Lauer. I got ahead of myself there, and then Denver Lauer kicked it into another gear. So the speed Smith has, she's capable of getting the base on her own. Here's a bunt from Roach, and it's a beauty. The throw to first is wild. Smith takes off towards third. She'll be held up at third. And Rose Roach is at second. The Auburn Tigers with runners at second and third. Up with nowhere to put her. And Upstate will just throw it outside. Ball four, it's a walk to KK McCreary and the bases are loaded. Everybody is in defensively for the Spartans. Packer drives one, deep left field, gone! It's a walk-off grand slam! The first home run of the season.